All right, uh, let's do part F. Uh, but before I start, I want to just tell you that this is a very special type of integral. It's exponential against uh, trig, uh, function cosine 2x. And this is uh, what we call like looping or circling integral. So uh, this is a good application of integration by parts. In fact, when you apply integration by parts once, uh, you're not done and you have to do it again. But when you do it twice, then you will get an integral in the final result that contains a to the, e to the 4x cosine 2x. So that's why I call it, it's, it's a looping integral. So the, the, the integral that you start with pops in the right-hand side of the equation. So to get prepared for that, I'm going to call this integral uh, to be i. And I'm going to try to find what i is eventually. Okay, that question is asking what is i, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the um, liate. I have exponential versus trig. And trig comes first here in the acronyms, right? So I should probably call cosine uh, 2x uh, to be u to start with, okay? Let's go back here. And I'm going to start calling u to be cosine 2x and dv to be the, re to be the rest. It's e to the 4x dx. Okay. So I need du. Du is the derivative of cosine 2x. You can use the chain rule if you want to. It's minus 2 sine 2x dx. Okay. And then uh, v is 1 fourth e to the 4x. That's, uh, that's u taking the anti derivative of e to the 4x. That's a u substitution. Uh, problem you can call u to be 4x to start with okay and and you get down to 1 4 e to the 4x please pause the video and then go with your own pace to get down to du and b okay so now i'm going to write what i'm going to write i the integral i'm after is equal to the integration by parts u times v minus v times du here we go 1 fourth e to the 4x cosine 2x, that's u times v, minus v du, but, but in, in the description of uh, du, you have a minus sign over there, right? Minus v du is going to take you to plus 1 4 times, times 2, so that's 1 half. I'm also simplifying in the meantime. Please go with your own pace, okay? Um, e to the 4x sine 2x dx, okay? All right. So let me just put a border here. So whenever we need uh, some kind of like an integration by parts business, so that means I'm going to do all of those calculations in the right-hand side. And in fact, I need one right now because uh, I have exponential against uh, sinusoidal, uh, that's liate, right? I should call uh, u right now a brand new u to be uh, sine 2x and dv would be the leftover e to the 4x dx okay so here du will be 2 cosine 2x dx okay and then v is 1 fourth e to the 4x all right so we gotta be careful so I'm gonna sort of like continue here 1 fourth e to the 4x cosine 2x and I want to put everything now in the bracket okay all right u times v 1 fourth e to the 4x sine 2x minus v du that is minus 1 half e to the 4 x cosine 2x dx all right so now we have to step back because this is the second time uh, I applied the uh, integration by parts and, and step back and see what's going on because I have another integrate to take care of at the end but that integral is exact same integral that I started with right that's also I so what happens here is that I on the left hand side Right? You have i on the left-hand side, and then you have i here. So let's rewrite that. Let's just expand the right-hand side to see what's going on. i equals 
1 fourth e to the 4 x cosine 2 x plus 1 8 e to the 4 x sine 2 x and I have minus 1 half i let me just write that with blue okay uh, minus 1 half but also you have 1 half out here so so you have in fact one half here, another one half here, right? It's almost like one fourth, right? Minus one fourth. So you got to be very careful. I, okay? So this is me expanding everything out. So I need to know what I is, right? So that means I'm going to add one fourth I to both sides of the equation here. This way, I have, let me use just white color from this moment on. So these guys are going to cancel, obviously. But on the on the right, I have 1i plus 1 fourth i, which is 5 quarters of i, is equal to 1 fourth e to the 4x cosine 2x and 1 8 um, e to the 4x sine 2x. Okay? All right, I need some space, so I just cleaned up some part here. So 5 fourths of i is that expression. I need 1i. So what I'm going to do here is to multiply both sides by 4 over 5 so that I will have a good expression for i. Okay, let me just write it here. i is equal to 4 times 5 times 1 fourth, which is 1 fifth, e to the 4x cosine x. And then 4 fifths times 1 eighth, that's 4 over 40, so it's 1 over 10, e to the 4x sine 2x. And let me add a generic integrating constant here to finalize that the i, which is the integral that is being questioned in the, in the statement f, right? So that is integrated as 1 fifth e to the 4x cosine 2x and uh, plus 1 tenth e to the 4x sine 2x plus c. Again, this is a very special type of integral. We call it like circling or looping behavior here, looping integral, because what you are trying to integrate pops somewhere in the integration by parts formulation on the right hand side. So you have to somehow like solving an equation. Uh, for the unknown i, because I that's why I sort of like prepped myself for that and I called that integral i for you guys to see that we are in fact solving an equation uh, at the end uh, to solve for i. Okay, all right. I think that takes care of uh, uh, all of the questions that we had in this exercise. In fact, we have like a bunch of different examples to be covered uh, in this exercise. So we we have gone through like six problems in total. Um, so I have to finish this video right now. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.